So hello and good morning. This is Keto Granny. I'm up this morning. It is Saturday morning, the 11th, February the 11th. And I'm up doing uh, things as far as catching up, um, doing what housework I need to do. What do you usually do on your Saturdays? How are your Saturdays? My Saturdays are pretty occupied. Um, I, tomorrow I'm going to a Super Bowl party. What are you doing? For Super Bowl tomorrow, you have a special party that you're going to. Are you going over friends? Are you just what are you doing? I know a lot of people have some plans for tomorrow. It's Super Bowl Sunday, and um, we're going over some friends, and we're going to have a really good time. We're really going to enjoy ourselves. I'm looking forward to it. Um, they were worried about me and what they were cooking. If um, if I could eat pulled pork, which is going to have some seasoning on it, and they're going to have vegetable trays. I tell them, don't worry about me. I will make it work. Okay, I will make it work. I will be there. I will be enjoying myself and having a good time also. I hope that you're also having a good time for Super Bowl Sunday or you have some really good plans to have a great time. Now, you can go to Super Bowl Sunday, have fun, and you know what? You can even keep it keto fine. Um, mostly, um, a lot of people, they have the chicken wings, chicken jumps that you're going to have usually some type of cheese, cracker tray, fruit tray, something to that. Um, but you can always find you something there to eat that is keto, usually at a Super Bowl party. Um, uh, or maybe that may have to be just a little bit of a cheat day that day, if it is, you know, in Enjoy yourself, enjoy friends, and enjoy having a good time. Now, you don't have to be so keto fine or sticking to the keto diet so much that you can't have a cheat day. It is all right to have a cheat day sometimes, but don't overdo it. You don't want to overdo it when you are having, if you want to consider that a cheat day. Now, um, I don't even know what I'm going to be bringing for the Super Bowl party, but I think I may go and get some wings today that I'm going to go ahead and just throw some wings in the oven and cook them like I would when I'm making them for myself for a meal prep and take those over to the Super Bowl party. You know, I'm sure everyone will enjoy them. And plus, I can also use my keto sauces. No one would ever know the difference. Really, no one would ever know the difference. Or maybe I could take a keto dessert. So I really haven't made up my mind as to what I am going to take, but I am going to take something that I can munch on also if I decide to keep it keto during the Super Bowl party. Um, there are different snacks that you can have um, as far for your Super Bowl party. If you're given one at home and you're on keto, you can have things like um, bell pepper nachos. Bell nachos, I call them. Keto bell pepper nachos. You can make uh, uh, keto uh, mozzarella meat sticks. You can uh, have a variety of vegetables on a vegetable tray with many different dips. So there are a lot of things that you can do. You can make buffalo wings or barbecue wings. Lots of things that you can do for a Super Bowl party. Keep it keto. Nobody knows. Um, they would know because... A lot of those type of foods are cooked the same way as they cook a keto also. You're just putting a little bit different seasonings and using a little bit different oils that you're cooking in. But as far as the taste, it can be just as good or better. Yes, it can. Um, I am. Oh, I got my hat in that I won in the contest. Oh, let me go ahead and show you this beautiful necklace set that I have on. I've worn this one before, but look at my beautiful necklace set. This is from Paparazzi. You all look how gorgeous that is. I have on the necklace that goes with it also. Beautiful and gorgeous. That is the necklace. I mean, the bracelet. You see the beautiful stones there? Look, I'm so used to giving a, a show I'm talking about, the jewelry I have on like that. But look at that. It's gorgeous. These are my earrings, and these are clip-on earrings that I just kind of matched up with this for today. But I decided to just put on a little bit of jewelry this morning also. also. Now, I started selling uh, paparazzi jewelry on the side because I stopped working some years ago. I believe it was like 2013. Um, I had an accident, so I have been off of work since 
since then. And um, occasionally I try myself at different um, jobs, different things that I feel I can do to push myself. Um, the last job that I actually had where I was on a payroll was I worked at Planet Fitness. Um, uh, I was already attending Planet Fitness on a daily basis, uh, going in, working out. So I decided I wanted to just get a job there, you know, really learn the ins and outs. And so I really did enjoy doing that. But like I said, I'm disabled, back problems, different things like that. It was requiring a lot of standing. So I wasn't able to keep it for a long time, but I did keep it as long as I could. And they worked with me as far as adjusting my hours. So all of that was really great at the time. Um, I like to try to push myself to continue to do things, even though I may be in pain or it hurts. Um, and just keeping my body moving, keeping your body moving is very, very important because a body in motion stays in motion. If your body isn't in motion, it's not going to stay in motion. And you want to be able to move, especially as you get older, movement, exercise, all of these things are just like oiling your joints. To me, it's just like oiling my joints, get me ready to go. Kind of like the Tin Man on the Wizard of Oz, okay? So use a lot of things that you do to your advantage. That's what I really really try to do is use a lot of things that I do to my advantage. Um, even as I'm sitting some time um, in the back here, if I'm working or doing whatever, I'll try to just start exercising, even if I'm just sitting in my chair, you know, because you can do chair exercises. Do chair exercises. You can do them if it just involves raising your leg up 10 times each leg and switching. Um, you can do something to exercise. You can do something as far as movement, but keeping your body in motion, you really want to do that as you get older. Keep your body in motion, keep it moving, and you're really going to start feeling better. And you're not going to feel so much stiffness, really so much stiffness. Um, today, let's say I ate today at 10.30. So that's only, I'd say, about a 14-hour fast today. So I ate today at 10.30, but I'm going to stop eating probably around 2 or 3 o'clock. I'm going to try to make that my last meal today. Just have about a 4 or 5-hour eating window today is what my plans are. But I also have, uh, my grandkids are coming over, supposed to be coming over again. So I'm I almost say I don't know how my day is going to change toward the end of the day, but for plans right now, I'm planning on starting my fast around, uh, I'd say about 2.30, 3 o'clock today. So we'll see how that goes. If not, I will go ahead and extend it out. Um, 10.30, extend it out to around 6.30 this evening just to make it an eight-hour eight window if I do have to, have to add a second meal. And usually when I add in the second meal, it is not big as all. It's usually like I'm finishing off um, what I put in the refrigerator as far as leftovers from my first meal. Or either it's a salad or something to that nature that's very, very light. A lot of times for my second meal, if I have to have a second meal during the day, it's going to be something light. It's going to be something like a salad or it's going to be something that really has probably more vegetables in it. Um, as far as me, especially if I ate more protein earlier in the day, it just depends on what I ate for the first meal um, as to what I will be adding in if I need to have two meals. Um, mostly I'm sticking to, I would say, one meal a day and I'm stretching um, eating that one meal a day. And sometimes it may take me my whole eating window to eat that one meal a day, but I know my calories. I know what I am intaking. And that helps me to stay focused also. So now someone asked me, how often do I eat? I don't eat on a schedule or anything like that. Um, I try to aim to do at least a 16-hour fast daily. It's anywhere from a 12 through a 16-hour fast daily. And then when I need to tweak my diet or something, then I will go up to maybe a 20-hour fast or a 22-hour fast. And I really try not to go over as far as doing a 24-hour fast just because I'm on medications and different things. And sometimes when I fast, um, it does throw off my medications a little bit. 
and um, as far, especially my uh, blood thinner, they have asked me to let them know every time I am going to do a fast, even if it's just a 24 hour fast, because they said that they may have to adjust that medication out for me. So remember to always check with your doctor before you start any uh, weight loss regimen or anything like that, or especially if you're going to start adding in supplement. I am not a doctor. I'm not a medical advisor. Um, I'm just keto granny. I'm just someone who is sharing my weight loss journey, sharing um, what has worked for me, um, sharing um, things that you can do that may possibly work for you as you're on your weight loss journey to better health. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video this morning. I just thought I would sit down. This is Saturday morning. I got a lot to do and everything, but I wanted to share something out real quick. So uh, if you have been following, I have been weighing every day for about the past week, a week and a half. And I am stuck on 241. I'm right at 241, but I just keep floating from 241.2 to 241.6, 241.4, 241.0. I got down to 240, 240.8, I believe it was. So, with getting down to 240.8, but it's still just fluctuating, and it's just kind of just staying right there in that 241 pound range. Um, so, I am doing. Uh, going to add in two fasts for next week. I'm going to do a 20 hour fast for one day, and then I want to see if the scale, you know, what it's doing by the time I add in that 20 hour fast. I may have to add in two 20 hour fasts next week. But I usually let my body tell me what I need to do, but I am in this contest, so I do want to try to lose at least 16 pounds by the end of February. That is my goal, which just averages out to eight pounds a month for me, which is what I was kind of losing when I was uh, on uh, my weight loss journey in the previous years when I first started. So my average has always been just six to eight pounds a month, but I've always been very, very satisfied with that. Um, sometimes I don't lose at all, or maybe just one or two pounds, but everybody's weight loss um, is different. The at the, the rate that you're going to lose weight is going to be different. It's going to depend on you. It's going to depend on a whole lot of different things. Your lifestyle It's going to depend on what hours you work. It's going to depend on the type of foods that you eat, when you eat, when you exercise. All of these things have to be taken into account. Now, you can generalize your diet just by generally eating things that other people eat on keto. But you're going to find out along the way that your journey is going to have to be individualized eventually to fit you and to fit your lifestyle. There may be some foods that you're able to eat that are entirely not keto that absolutely work for you in your diet. And these are things that you can do, but you're not going to find out um, about these things until you actually start on your weight loss journey and you start the process of elimination as far uh, as your diet, taking things out that you think may be causing inflammation in your body and then eventually adding in foods and then seeing how your body reacts to them. So I hope that you have gotten some information that you can use. And if this is your first time here, to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any videos that I share because I like to try to give out some information, but I also like to receive information also. And like, share, and comment below to let me know what you do in order to stay on your weight loss journey. Is there anything special that you engage in? Um, and then I also would like to know about how often do you have to tweak your diet and what type of things do you do to add in as far as tweaking your diet when you're on a plateau? Like I said, right now I've been on a plateau 241, just up and down, all around and in through there, just up and down and all around and in through there. And I need to get that scale going down lower. So that's what I'm working on for this week. I will be doing a lot of different things for the weekend is seeing if it's going to work. And then next week I will be implementing, like I said, at least one or two 20 hour fasts during the week. Anyhow, this is Keto Granny saying have a great Saturday morning 
and go out and be great on purpose. But above everything, give God the glory because without him, we would not be able to do anything. Remember, remember, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Everyone have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Oh, so there's something else that I wanted to share with you. I got my mail and I've already opened it. And I got my bling cast. One of Miss Kim, my paparazzi. She's my recruiter. She recruited me. And look at that. That is gorgeous, isn't it? So I've already put my hat on to pictures. But this is my reward. And hey, wearing this hat just makes me feel really, really great. Really, really special. And it says love. My hat says love. And I do. I love paparazzi. And I do have a video. Check it out. It tells you how you can become a paparazzi consultant. Because selling paparazzi is so much fun. Hey, what's even more fun is wearing paparazzi. But anyhow, this is my hat that I won from the challenge, one of our contests that they had. And like I say, winning a contest really makes you feel good. It makes you want to give your best. So I'll be back again with another Paparazzi Live jury show sometime this weekend. Be looking forward. Bye-bye. <laughs>